If we want to keep the rise of temperature well below 2 degrees Celsius, as we've all engaged to do in the Paris Agreement, we urgently need to decarbonize our economies and societies. A shift to clean, renewable energy is what we need. This will need massive investment, and with massive investments come massive job opportunities. In fact, we estimate that the EU's energy and climate policies have already created over one and a half million jobs in renewables alone. The need to increase the energy efficiency of buildings will create huge opportunities for the building industry, which by definition is labor intensive. Building renovation is one of the most job-creating investment areas across the entire green energy transition. It creates local jobs, stimulates local investments, and supports SMEs. 95% of the EU's construction sector is made up of SMEs. It's a win-win-win. We improve our climate, we create more jobs, and we reduce energy bills for households. But let's be clear. Such a fundamental transition also leads to job losses. No more coal-fired power generation means that we will have to find new jobs for people in the coal mining industry. No more combustion engine means that the jobs in the future car industry will in part change in nature, needing skilling and reskilling of the workforce. But the bottom line is that there are more and better jobs in the new economy than in the old. So what we witness is not a looming loss, but a shift. Now, what sort of skills will be needed? You can think of engineering and technical skills, IT, health and safety, but also specialized skills for extreme physical locations, building and maintenance, service and transport. We estimate that 100 million people in Europe will have to update their skills to keep up with new technological developments. It's a huge challenge, but we're getting ready. With the European Green Deal, we're taking action across all sectors to transform our economy and society. But we cannot succeed in isolation. The climate crisis is a global crisis. We need to reach net zero emissions worldwide and faster rollout of the policies to get there. I hope that we can share our experience on what was worked so far, on what has worked so far, uh, when it comes to green jobs and a just transition and how we can invest in the skills we need as early as possible. We're in a key moment. And COP26 in Glasgow later this year, the whole world will need to move from ambition to action. If we do so decisively, and if we do it all together, we can make COP26 a tipping point for climate action.